Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. If you're on Windows 11, of course, you have updates today. We are the uh, last week of the month of August, and today, August the 22nd, is the bug fixing updates, the optional bug fixing updates for both Windows 11 21H2 and 22H2. And so um, if you're on 21H2, one of the things that you will get, and you can go to the uh, settings, go into the Windows update and check for updates. You'll see that the optional updates will appear. Uh, for 21H2, the uh, update is for um, KB5029332. And of course, uh, if you're on 22H2 like I am, you get KB5029351, and you can see it here at the top. There's also a .NET Framework update today, so uh, that is something that is for preview update. Also bug fixes, but for the .NET Framework uh, part of Windows. So uh, what do these updates fix? A very short list this month of fixes, but uh, notably one of the fixes is... Um, the um, Ch Israel uh, Daylight Saving Time changes. Uh, there's an update that improves the reliability of the search app. Um, there's a fix for an issue about uh, that affects the narrator that uh, does not correctly identify the search box and taskbar. Um, there's also some problems of uh, search box size and, and, and posture in the... Uh, Microsoft Surf Surface Book and Surface Pro. Uh, they do fix, of course, different problems that are pretty much the same on Windows 10 and Windows 11, uh, which is group policy problem, one with uh, D3, D12, API, uh, WSX layered window rendering problem in the wrong dimension, depending on the screen size or display size, print jobs, that uh, failed without an error in virtual printing. Um, update address an issue that causes high CPU usage, and uh, this occurs if you enable the F-block non-domain policy. Um, this fixes, unlike Windows 10, a problem if you're using BitLocker and you go play with the partitions, then you claim some disk space from one partition, you might actually end up with a system that stops working because the drives are all messed up. And uh, so this is a, uh, a problem that is fixed in here. And um, there's also an issue that affects some remote desktop sessions that could crash and have problems. Apart from that, uh, Windows Update for Business that has an error code 0XC0006D uh, that could be a problem. And, um, you know, for the most part, a lot of the stuff is, um, uh, is, is standard. Um, so not that many bug fixes. And, of course, this is optional. You don't have to install it now. It will be installed anyways with the Patch Tuesday updates in September if you don't. Um, what are the uh, numbers for the uh, build version? So if you go and type Winver in Windows 11 to check for the Windows version, what you will have in Windows 11's version. If you are on the um, 21H2, this will update to build 22,000.2360. And if you're on 21H2, like I am, 22H2, sorry, like I am, 22.621.22.15 is the ending for 22H2. Um, a few more fixes on the 22H2 than 21H2, but for the most part, a lot of the fixes are similar across the Windows versions 10, 11, and 12, uh, 12 yeah. 10, 11, and 11, 20, uh, 22H2. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.